The ability to breathe, it has a direct effect on our health. This test is used to measure the amount of air coming from the lungs. With tobacco, we found exactly what others have found. Essentially a straight line decline in both air flow rates and in lung volumes the more people smoked tobacco. Dr. Stefan Kertes from the University of Alabama at Birmingham and co-authors say with marijuana use, the line is a bit different. The effects of marijuana change depending on how much a person has used over their lifetime. Researchers studied a database of more than 5,000 people in four American cities. These individuals reported marijuana and tobacco use over 20 years. I'm gonna ask you to take a very deep breath in as deep as you possibly can. Their lung function was also measured several times during that period by using standard breathing tests. Up to moderate levels of marijuana use, and by that we mean up to the amount a person would smoke if they had a joint a day for seven years, there is not a loss of air flow rate, there's not a loss of lung volumes. In essence, marijuana doesn't seem to behave like tobacco at those levels of use. The study appears in this week's JAMA. Journal of the American Medical Association. However, at the much higher levels of use, that curve changes. Our results at those higher levels of use were not statistically significant, but they certainly introduced the hint of harm at very high levels of use. Dr. Kertes also points out that the increase in lung function was very small. The increase that we saw was about 50 cc, and that's roughly the size of a small juice can. Researchers say the way people breathe when smoking marijuana, deep breaths, in and out, may have prepared them to do better on these tests and is not a sign that the lung tissue is healthier. It would be very incorrect to look at this study and say, wow, if I smoke marijuana, that's going to improve my lung health. We don't view our study or changes in the lungs as being the central point that a person should think about in deciding whether to use a drug like marijuana. Catherine Dolph, The JAMA Report.